Hey, what is up, everyone? Hope you're having an awesome day today. Matt here with Crypto Blick, as you already know. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to update Ledger Live, the 2.37.2 uh, software, software, can't talk, software version came out recently. And I want to make sure you guys are keeping your software up to date as well as your firmware on your Nano products. So we'll check those as well on the ones I have uh, on the Nano X and the Nano S. And uh, if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make this happen. All right, so once you have Ledger Live opened up, go ahead and click on the download update. You should see this as a banner. If you don't, you can always come over uh, to the settings tab and find it that way. But let's just click on download update. It's then going to upload it or update it, I should say, downloading the update. And then it shouldn't take too long. Uh, once it's complete, uh, it will restart Ledger Live and then we'll check on the Nano S and Nano X. Perfect, so it's downloaded it and then it says ready to install, go ahead and install now. Once you're back into Ledger Live, you can read the updates and what they fixed. Um, I'm not gonna talk about these here uh, other than like fixes on issues with ETH tokens, adding misleading, uh, missing label and cell flow. And then of course, show some features here, ledger card waiting list, et cetera, et cetera. Bitcoin taproot support, not experimental anymore. So that's a big update there for you. Um, and so you can see this as on your own if you want to read more, but let's click continue. So then it's updated. Well, so I was also gonna show you how to make sure and verify that uh, your Nano X or S is updated appropriately with its firmware. So I've got my X here, I'm gonna pull, plug this in. And I'm gonna come down to manager. So it's gonna connect and unlock your device. Okay, I gotta put in my pin code. And then it's going to show allow ledger manager on the actual device. Go ahead and uh, click both buttons to accept. And then you're gonna see, oh, hey, update firmware to 2.0.2 .2 is available. So let's go ahead and update that. So then here it's gonna give you a quick firmware update and what's in it. And then also let you know, hey, make sure you keep your 20 word keyword seed phrase safe because that is how you'll be able to re-input your crypto assets not necessarily put them into the ledger, but you can confirm that you are the owner of those crypto assets, okay? So let's do that here. Yes, I have my recovery phrase. You can read more about what the update allows you to do. Let's do continue. And it's downloading the update. This may take a little bit of time. And so then on my actual device here, you can see, you can't really, there you go. You can see a uh, processing here and it's got a, uh, it's got a percentage going on there. So anyways, so it's going, it's at 45, 50% now. All right, and there we go. Please confirm the update on your device. So then you're gonna toggle through to the right. Uh, you can do cancel update or confirm update. Of course, I want to confirm. Processing there. Finalizing the update, it is in bootloader mode. Okay, it's updating as well. All right, and then, okay, we, it's gonna be processing again. This is going a whole lot faster, so I'm not gonna show it to you. Same thing, it's, it's processing through the percentages. All right, it's got a new screen as it opens up, the new Ledger logo. And then I do need to enter in my pin here again. And what you're going to see here, um, on the screen, you're gonna see it says uh, firmware updated, and then the next button is reinstall apps, which I can do, because you're gonna see on your Nano X, you're not gonna have any of your apps on the device, okay? And so we do need to reinstall those apps. You need to make sure you reinstall them. So click reinstall. Okay, and then you're gonna have on here again, you should select both buttons to allow Ledger Manager. You're gonna see that on the screen. Click both to allow. All right, and now it is downloading the different apps. Go to apps installed, so you'll see it. Yeah, let's come back here. There we go. You can see down here, so Ethereum, it's downloading Ethereum, it's got Bitcoin queued in the system, Cardano, things like that. Okay. And then I can come on over to apps installed and I can see when it lets me. 
All right, so it's showing, here we go. So here, shows that Ethereum's done. Uh, Cardano, Bitcoin are queued. And then of course, Polkadot uh, is installing right now. Perfect, all right, everything is updated as you can see. There you go, guys. That is how you make sure the Nano X is updated. Now let's do the Nano S. And so now my Nano S is plugged in. Let's go to manager. I do need to put in my pin and then I will allow manager to uh, communicate with the device. All right, and so then it's going to show, let's see if I can show this to you guys. See that right there? It says, allow ledger manager. Go ahead and click both buttons at the top. Okay. And now you're in. And so you can see at the top here, firmware is up to date at 2.1.0, but it does show that I have an app update with it, which is Ethereum. So let's do update all, okay. And if you have other apps on your particular nano device, it's going to show you which apps need to be updated. Obviously, um, the other app I have is Solana and that doesn't need to be updated, um, only the Ethereum app. Um, but from time to time, your apps will need to be updated and just make sure that you update them and keep them up to date so that uh, you don't have any issues uh, with your, your, your ledger devices, okay? So this is almost done updating here. And once it's done, then I'll show you what to look for. Okay, so there we go. So you can just see apps installed. So I've got Solana and Ethereum. Um, it's both updated just fine. And then same thing here. So you can see the top firmware is up to date. There's no other banners telling me I need to update anything. And so that is it. It's super easy to make sure your Ledger products are up to date. Um, if you had to update the firmware on the Nano S, it would be the same thing, just like with the X. You just you click the buttons to update everything, to install them, and then you have to re-upload those apps. And the Ledger Live app should do it for you, okay? I mean, as in you need to click that button to uh, re-upload those apps. Um, if you don't, it's okay, don't freak out. You can just go find each app that you have and re-upload them itself, you know, yourself individually. Um, but that's that's it guys, it's really simple. So, um, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there's a lot of you that watch my videos and you haven't subscribed. So, subscribe to stay in touch with me and to see more videos coming out on a weekly basis. And always, um, leave a comment. If you have any issues with uh, Ledger Live or your Nano products, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, I don't know everything, but I can do my best to help you out. So uh, guys, if there's anything else I can help you out with today, let me know. Otherwise, have an awesome day and I'll see you when I see you.